Welcome to Eternal Manna, the daily devotional broadcast of Grace Gospel Church. Today we move to Psalm 52. Some of you thought we'll never come to Psalm 52, but here we are, Psalm 52. And in order to understand Psalm 52, you have to do some homework. You've got to read 1 Samuel chapters 21 and 22. And the context is given to us in those two chapters. David is fleeing from King Saul, who was very determined to kill David. And as uh, David is on the run, he uh, stops at a place called Nob. Nob was a center of worship at that time. It was a city for priests. And David is hungry. And David is fearful. And David with his men come to the, uh, the house of the priest, as it were, to the tabernacle. And uh, there David is going to ask the priest Ahimelech for some supplies. And uh, Ahimelech questions David and then provides him with uh, supplies. Now, lurking in the dark shadows, was a man by the name of Doeg. He was an Edomite. And he was the chief herdsman of King Saul. He was holding a position of prominence and rank and position. He happened to be there and he saw everything that took place. He probably heard the conversations that took place between David and uh, Ahimelech. And actually, David recognized Doeg. And that's what makes it very surprising why David didn't take any action upon recognizing who Doeg was. And uh, because he failed to take action, Doeg was going to be used by Saul to literally destroy that whole city of Nob. So what does Doeg do? He goes and reports to King Saul what he had seen. But he does not give the full picture. So Saul does not get all the information. Saul, in his rage and madness, orders Doeg to go and kill all the priests, all the women, and all the children in Nob. That's the sad, sordid story behind Psalm 52. In today's language, the question that we would ask is, why does God allow so much of evil to happen? How come God could allow the city of priests to be destroyed so ruthlessly and mercilessly? And that's a profound question. And there are no easy answers. And Doeg is evil personified. That's the best way to describe Doeg. Evil personified. So Psalm 52 is going to teach us what to do in the face of evil. So it's a very relevant psalm for times like this because we are living in days where there is so much of evil all around us. And may God give us grace to confront evil and to live victoriously. Amen. For more videos like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Grace Gospel English Church Toronto. Thank you.